Uh, but, as I say, the White House have defended 81-year-old President Joe Biden. After another apparent mishap over the weekend, um, Biden was led off stage by Barack Obama after appearing to freeze. Uh, and this followed footage of uh, him appearing to, appearing to wander off at the G7 summit in Italy. Uh, Rishi Sunak actually defended as him simply going over to speak to... Uh, the pilots. But this is clearly, Janet, the narrative that is very, very strong within the media. Um, are you worried about President Biden? Um, I don't deny that he's in a challenging job and that occasionally he's made slips. Um, but I do think the coverage of him now is openly bitchy. Well, that's the wrong word, bitchy. It's, it's negative. Negative. It's absolutely vicious and negative, and it is ageist. I mean, I think in the um, photo lineup, he's wandering off to talk to a pilot. Um, I kind of tend to believe... Uh, That's what, what Rishi George, Sunak said. Yeah, what yeah. Rishi Sunak and the other leaders said too. He was being polite, going away, off to talk to the um, skydiving pilot. Mm. I mean, honestly... Um, but can someone of his age adequately uh, do yeah. the job he's doing? Well, you've got to look at President Tr uh, uh, well, Trump, ex-President Trump, yeah. who said the other night all the reasons why uh, Biden's too old to do the job and said that I, Trump, have had a clean bill of health and then he got the name of his own... Doctor, yeah. and he long. is 77. I actually think Denise has had a freezing event because I can't believe that you've kept quiet all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Janet. I don't like to interrupt, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> Could somebody bring back the real Denise? No. Something's happened. Uh, no, Denise, Trump's 78, I'm 77. Mm -hmm. You could find someone of 62 who could not... who would appear older and unable to cope. Everything's relative. Yeah. Right. 76% um, of voters have worries about Biden's health, physically and um, mm. mentally. Mm. You know, sort of six in ten people worry about Biden. I understand in the day we live in, which is manipulation, over-saturation of images on social media, AI, all of these things, you can make anybody look or say to be doing oh, yeah. anything. But at the age of, of 80, where we... we 81, you know, a, 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 81, we see enough images of Biden to know that the man is struggling. And I think that if I was parading my own dad out, who was making so many mistakes, when, when he wasn't the president of the United States, had a normal job, people would say, that's cruel. You but shouldn't be keep mistakes? putting it... But also, you it's... say that we are seeing enough images. We are seeing what we are fed. We are seeing 20... But we are seeing 20-second the... clips, which but are put to us on social media. But that is the same with everything. Listen, I, since COVID, I believe nothing anybody says in the government or anything. But I don't that, believe a, really, a word of it. That's a really, really sad state of affairs. It is a sad a really state of affairs. I don't believe anything we're fed. However, there have been... There is somebody that I know that was at a conference um, in, uh, in America with Joe Biden at the White House. There are absolutely massive, massive errors, errors being made in the way that he is functioning. We know that he's probably a puppet, a puppet do minister. You know, do, but do, he's, the, the, it's the biggest power in the world and we've got the has choice had between a, clean bill of health. a criminally convicted felon, you know, uh, President uh, tr uh, Mr Trump. Candidate and Trump. And we've got an 81-year-old yeah. man who is clearly showing yeah. signs of not being well. Is there not any other people well, in America yeah. who can run well, that? Well, that, <laughs> that, but that, I'm afraid, reflects on the American political system, because well, those yeah. are the choices that they've made. And in this country, we've had leaders with drink problems, mm. uh, leaders mm. who've mm. been extremely old. I mean, look at Winston Churchill. Yeah. These days, Winston Churchill's name yeah. is... You dare not suggest for one minute that a leader of the, yeah. Yeah. Of the yeah. age and ability yeah. of yeah. Winston Churchill might have occasionally been under par, yeah. making yeah, but, but, well, well, Brenda, let, me, let, me, let me bring, Bre let me bring <laughs> Brenda. Brenda, what, what, what do you think? Um, I do think that, unfortunately, we are in an ageist society and it's irrelevant whether they're a leader or not. We, there doesn't seem to be the respect that there used to be for your elders and that was how I was raised, respect your elders no matter what. If they can do the job, I don't really care how old you are as long as, you, as, long as you're... I mean, competent. he said in February... But I'd rather have Janet... I mean, she's 77 and I'd be happy to have <laughs> yeah. Janet running the country, well, yes, so I'm not ageist. 
Well, let, let, let me assure you. Yeah. Let me assure you that I have made speeches and forgotten my way halfway through. I've wandered off platforms and said the wrong thing, and I've fallen up and downstairs. So but I've done all that. But, 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 but that happens to anybody you. of any age. Thank you for saying that. Because we have all made mistakes, and if they yes. were, if someone was to put out repeatedly, repeatedly, all of our outtakes, yes. people would think. I was going to say, people would think we're blithering idiots. Maybe that. Um, <laughs> well, no. Maybe that horse is already bolted. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me what. On June the twenty seventh, there will be the first televised debate between President Biden and the candidate Trump. So we will see them for an hour or however you think he's long. Going to do it? Well, absolutely. And then we can perhaps make some kind of judgment as to what you think his cognitive mm. abilities are. But there is a serious worry at the moment about our politics being conducted on social media with potentially really bad actors behind it pushing out a narrative that they want you to believe. And we need to be careful. And if you're the person who's very cynical and doesn't believe anyone, we need to be careful not to be gullible and just buy what they want us to buy. We need and to, I quest we need to question everything. So let's wait and see them. It's next Thursday night. Will you watch it? I yeah. absolutely will watch it. I will watch it. it. Um, let's decide after yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. <laughs>